Cellular respiration, explained with animation and puppets. Cellular respiration requires sugar from your food, oxygen from the air. Cellular respiration happens within the mitochondria, producing carbon dioxide and energy in the form of ATP. H2O, or water, is also produced. So how does it all work? To answer this, we'll need a volunteer. Excuse us, sir. Over here, sir. Yes, you. Hi. Uh, do you think you could help us out today? Thank you. This represents a mitochondria inside this volunteer's body. We'll need him to eat first. Sir, could you eat that? As he eats that, the sugars in the food will enter his blood. Then they'll make their way to a cell. There they're starting to appear around the mitochondria. However, we still need one more thing. We need oxygen. Sir, could you breathe in for us? One more time, sir. The oxygen will go from his lungs to his blood and finally make its way to the cells. Now that we have oxygen and sugar, those two things will enter the mitochondria and through cellular respiration, they will become energy as ATP, carbon dioxide, and H2O. The energy in the form of ATP will be used to think, grow, repair, move. Where is it all going? What is he? As I was saying, energy can be used for movement or whatever this is. We still have some waste products, carbon dioxide and H2O. We're going to have our volunteer exhale. Read that one more time. When he does this, this removes the carbon dioxide from the body. Water molecules will remain in the body until they're lost through sweating or some other bodily processes. Thank you, sir, for all your help. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. You, you can go now. It's over. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.